I'm now going to discuss binning and cropping. So before I get into the software and how we do these things here, it's worth having a sense of uh, what these concepts mean. So um, I have here just a few slides that uh, make this clear. So we have two cameras on the system, the Xyla, which is a CMOS camera, and the Ixon, which is an EMC CD. These cameras have different numbers of pixels, and those pixels are of a different size. So the Xyla has more pixels, which are smaller, and the Ixon has fewer pixels, which are larger. What binning does is it combines pixels. So for example, if you were to bin two by two on the Xyla, you convert the information from these four photosensitive elements in the camera into uh, information uh, in a single pixel in the image. Uh, if you were to do the same on the Ixon, you combine uh, the information in this small two by two square of uh, photosensitive elements on the camera and you transform it to a single pixel in the image. So uh, an important point is that binning is needed for dual camera imaging because the number of pixels in the image must match. And because the Ixon has fewer pixels than the Xyla, we at least need to bin the Xyla by a factor of two to get the same number of pixels. Now, binning has a number of effects. First, it decrease, decreases spatial resolution because each pixel represents a larger size in the sample. It decreases file size because fewer pixels mean less data. It increases the sensitivity of the camera, and this effect is larger on the Ixon than on the Xyla for reasons I'm not going to go into here. Just trust me that that's true. And for the Ixon only, it increases uh, the speed at which you can acquire data. So that's binning. So what's cropping? So what cropping does is it removes pixels. So for example, if we were to crop the center quadrant on the Xyla and the CMOS, we would be left with images that look like this. Now, cropping will increase the speed. Uh, beware that this increase in speed depends on exactly which dimension uh, you crop, and I will discuss that in videos uh, that go into how to um, go as fast as possible with both cameras. It decreases your field of view because you're just looking at a part of your field of view. You've cropped out the rest and it decreases file size. So that's cropping. So how do you do these things in the software? So the way you do them are in this part here. These predefined AOIs or areas of interest are the cropping. So you can see you have a number of default settings and you can choose any of those you'd like. So for example, here, this is a 2048 by 2048 image with the Xyla camera. If I reduce it to a 1024 by 1024 and snap another image, we should see only the center quadrant. And that's exactly what happens. So that's cropping. And again, you have many options to choose from, or you can even use a custom option. I'm going to go back here. Uh, binning is this setting. And for example, if you bin two by two, the total area in the sample that's represented in the image will stay the same but you will see that the resolution goes down. So if I snap an image here, um, again, the total size of the image is the same, but the resolution goes down. So how do I tell if the resolution went down? Let me see if I can do cropping and binning to make this a little bit easier to see. So here is a 512 by 512 image with binning at one by one. If I take the binning to two by two and I snap another image, you can see clearly that the pixels are larger. And if I do something dramatic like four by four, you'll see that even more clearly where they're very chunky, okay? So that's how you do it on the uh, Xyla camera. If you have a setting uh, with the Ixon, you essentially have controls that look very similar and you can do the same thing. So the predefined AOIs are here and then, sorry, and then, the what's called symmetrical binning is here, and the and the and the effects are the same. So one final note on um, cropping. Let me go back to this channel here. Um, let me just snap an image very quickly. You can also crop freely with this tool here. So you can click on that and then crop whatever you want, and so you just reshape it to be whatever size you want, and then you hit enter, 
And now if you take images, they will be of this custom area. And this will allow you to have less data and go faster, which can be very convenient things. You'll see here that this reverted to custom. So again, if we go back to 2048 by 2048 and snap, we'll get back to the full field of view. So data on this system, it's very easy to get a, a ton of data very quickly. So cropping, if for nothing else, may be a valuable strategy to keep the amount of data you collect uh, more manageable.